Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Cass. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's gonna be a very hectic vlog. I feel like this is gonna be one of the most hectic vlogs, or I would say chaotic, busy vlogs I'm ever gonna post. Here's the rundown. And I'm almost done getting ready, so I'm just gonna finish my lips and set my face. Today is Thursday. It is September 7th. Tomorrow, I have my first ever fashion, New York Fashion Week event, which I'm so excited for. My sister got me this fan from Japan, and when I went home last week, she told me she was so excited when she saw that I'm actually using it because she didn't think I was. As you guys know, I haven't been in New York for that long, only a year and a half about, a little over that now. I've never gotten invited to any fashion, New York Fashion Week things. Probably because I don't post, maybe post once a month nowadays. So I wasn't expecting anything. But recently I've started putting myself out there a little bit more, posting a bit, a little bit more content and just connecting with people. And so I got my first invitation. And I'm really, really excited. So that's happening tomorrow. I don't have my outfit yet. I need to figure that out. That's what today's for. But here's the thing. Tomorrow, just kidding, Saturday, I'm hosting a brunch for the Social Lux Club and I'm doing a women's entrepreneur brunch. There's going to be 25 to 30 women depending on if the rest of the spots fill. Right now I think there's 24, 25. So that's on Saturday and that starts at 11 or 10.30 to 2. I have the venue from 9. The entire mess you see back here is all for the event. For this event, it's a brunch style networking event, a sit down brunch. I got the catering, I got the tablescapes, all of that. It costed a pretty penny. So I needed to go well, I needed to go smoothly, and I needed to go perfectly. So I'm gonna show you guys like everything that I kind of got. And I'm just excited to bring you guys along this crazy next few days because it's gonna be a lot. Okay, so this section is what we're working with. There's a lot of things going on. We have, this is like the chair covers because I've rented out tables and chairs for this event, of course. Um, I have the brunch menus, which this is so cute. I'm obsessed. Let me show you guys. This is what it looks like. It's so cute. And look at this menu. I chose out the menu. It's so amazing it's pretty much all my favorite things so i'm excited that i get to have that for brunch and this is who it's catered by her name is Kadian. her aesthetic and everything is amazing so that's why i instantly had to book her so that is the menu in here then we have things like little vases we have the plates and i found these notebooks i'm doing a gift bag as well let me put you guys down I'm doing a gift bag as well and I'm trying to figure out little things to put so I got these daily planners so I got 30 of these and then um, I'm also getting a few more things in the next couple days then I have these candles from Wicked Scent her name is Samantha and her whole entire company and branding is on point it's beautiful it's so chic and she so kindly sponsored this product for the gift bag. This is her body butter and it's all clean. She hand makes these, hand pours them and it smells amazing. This one is very, she said this one's very gender neutral and it's just overall like a fan favorite. So you guys should definitely check her out. It's called The Wicked Scent and she also does candles, car diffusers, uh, room sprays and of course these body butters. So definitely check that out. Then I have another Canva order and this is what's included in the gift bag actually. So I can just show you guys that. But this is the card that's gonna go in the gift bag to show the different small businesses that will be in there. So of course we have Heart of Beauty, favorite clean beauty brand, very affordable. And then we have Seaside Haven Candle Co. And guys, I ordered from Michelle before and her candles smell amazing. Actually, let me just show you real quick. If you guys know, I don't know if I was vlogging when I shared this like last year and the year before that, but Marshmallow Fireside by Bath & Body is hands down my favorite, favorite holiday candle. And that is pretty much the only candle I burn all throughout Christmas. When she said that she was coming out 
with marshmallow by the fireside i almost passed out i was so excited and she told me that she actually got this scent because it was inspired by the marshmallow fireside from bath and body you guys this candle smells so so good i can't stop smelling it and i'm just waiting for the weather to get cooler because i associate this candle specifically with like cold weather so i have to wait until it cools down but right now it's 90 degrees and then the last two businesses well i already shared it with you there is the wicked scent and then we have color arts goods which i'm meeting up with her today to grab um the post-its that she's going to be including in the gift bag her name is Wilmaris, so thank you so much to her in advance. I'm really excited to see the prints. And yeah, this is just going to go into the gift bag, which I'm going to have to figure out today. And then also because I'm having, I don't know if I already mentioned this, but I'm having guest speakers at this event, which is why I have um, this microphone here, which this was so cool. I've never had like a microphone. This is technically like a uh, karaoke or every time I say karaoke, my mom like stops me at a halt. And makes me say it correctly so for my mom i'll say this is a karaoke machine two microphones which is so exciting and i was i feel like i'm very energetic in this video but i just have a lot going on so i'm just trying to pick up the pace so i have two microphones and i was testing it out it was so cool because i've never had like a karaoke or microphone type of situation so that was exciting okay i also ordered this thing but this i need to wash this and they're one gallon glass dispensers. So this one's gonna have orange and this one's gonna have the lemonade. notebooks with the stickers and just did a few more things and now i'm having a fashion crisis i don't know if i already mentioned this but i am not happy with this outfit i ordered it from fash focus which is a uk brand and they specialize in uh, more conservative wear because that's my style it's my first fashion show so i wanted to make sure i felt confident and comfortable and i just don't really feel comfortable in tight fitted clothes um that's just not my personal that's not my personal preference so i wanted to go for more something that's flowy and not fitted so i wanted to show you this outfit i also made a whole tiktok on this and i'm like asking people for help so i hope that i get some answers but this dress is a bit baggier than i had expected and i actually thought i was going to be able to run to the store earlier today but because the event is my main priority I'm just now getting to this outfit. So I don't know if you guys can see the whole thing. So originally I had planned to just wear this with like black heels and like my purse. This is before I realized it was gonna look like this, but don't mind the mess. I had a fashion crisis and I was tearing up my closet, but this is like just not what it was supposed to be. And then I put on my black belt, but then I'm like do this quickly because I need to go before Steve Madden closes. Then I tried on the belt with this. Then I realized that it's like a bit too harsh and the black just like doesn't really match. It's just it's just too much contrast. So then after that, I tried on a brown belt. <laughs> I'm trying to like put this on so quickly okay then i put on a brown belt like this and i like the brown belt a lot more but i don't like this gucci belt the material is more of like a rough suede so you can see like the brown it helps it's like not that contrasted so i like the look of that more but then you see, I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but the material is definitely more of like a rough suede. 
And then this material, as you can see, is like a satin silk, which I have to steam this still. It just was not looking good. By the time this goes up, I'm already gonna, you guys are already gonna know what I picked. But I just wish you guys could just tell me right now because I am having a freak out over this outfit. Or should I just scratch this idea and go shopping tomorrow morning right when the store is open and get an outfit? Safe to say I am beyond exhausted. It's 9.42 now. I got home like an hour ago maybe. I went everywhere today. <laughs> I And in that time span that I was out, I took like 8,000 steps. So I went places. I went to see Madden and the only thing that I got is um, this bag because I ordered one from Amazon. It said it was going to come in on Friday or tomorrow, but just in case it doesn't, I got this just as a backup. I went to Bloomingdale's. I was there for maybe like an hour, hour and a half. I ended up picking a dress. It's um, a white Ralph Lauren dress. It was $200. It's really expensive, but it's really pretty and I think I might end up wearing it because it's very elegant and chic and I don't have to worry about all of that but we'll see I'll try and bolt tomorrow I have my nail appointment tomorrow at 11 because my nails are really really bad right now I always get French tip I have my dinner that I'm gonna eat right now I got a chicken Caesar salad wrap I haven't had this in so so long this is it so I'm gonna watch one episode of the OC, I haven't watched it in months because of Love Island. And then I am going to shower and go to sleep. So I'll see you in the morning. Good morning. It is fashion show day and also event prep day. I woke up an hour ago. It's um, 9.20 now. And I just got my Amazon order in. So let's just quickly go through all the drinks that I got. So I got my favorite grape cider you love this i got four i got eight ciders i don't know how i've never had a bottle opener here yet i mean there's no alcohol in this household so i guess that's why but i feel like it's a bare necessity to have lemonade i got the strawberry lemonades so these are really good this is the whole setup that we're working with four regular ciders four apple grape ciders and then we have orange juice and strawberry lemonade my camera's about to die but this is like my little ootd i'm going to target and whole foods to get ice and just other things i need from target for tomorrow so i'll be back when i tell you it's been such a hectic afternoon i've been out since like nine something today like 9 45 and i went to target Whole Foods came back, went back out immediately after dropping off my stuff because I had to get my nails done at 11. But their scheduling was a little backed up, so I didn't get finished until 12:30. And then I was supposed to have a meeting at 3:30, but thankfully that just got canceled. It was supposed to be from 3:30 to 4, but she canceled it, which I'm entirely grateful for. Makeup is done. I like the way it turned out. I'm ready. This is the outfit. I'm obsessed with this cape. I feel like it's so much better than the other dress because it just looks cleaner and it's not so potato sacky. I'm gonna have these here and then I'm just gonna wear this clutch just like this. So that is the outfit. I'm gonna head to the event and I think I'm gonna bring you guys with me. Okay, so I'm in the taxi right now and I just finished like, posting stuff on my phone. Um, it's really rainy outside, so my dress got a little wet while I was heading back, or my dress was getting wet when I was getting into the car. Now, the only thing is that this dress is very, very delicate, so it gets, um, it gets wrinkled really easily, and my dress is getting wrinkled. Like, right when I got in, I accidentally, like, sat on the cape part, and, like, this is what it looks like now. It's very wrinkled, so... I'm a bit sad about that, but there's nothing you can do about it. Um, the main thing is that I get there safe and, you know, I'm going, so I'm really grateful. And I'm really excited, so not the end of the world. We're good. 
<laughs> I'm with Tiff. <laughs> Literally a whole moment. I was in the taxi and I, uh, well, we were gonna meet up anyways, and so I was tracking her and I. <laughs> She said it was said it was right. She was right by me, so I looked back and she's crossing the street. I'm gonna send the video over to Cass, so if she wants to include it, she can show you guys. Oh, were I you videoing? Well, as soon as you got the taxi, I like spotted her, and I was like, oh my god, a whole little Carrie Bradshaw moment. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was sprinting because all the cars were beeping at me, so I had to go. And she's wearing this stunning white dress. Talk about last minute finds. It was an expensive last minute find, but the outfit that I ordered online was so baggy. I I'm saw, like, I saw. I wanted to cry. So, luckily, like, I found this at Bloomingdale's. So, so was, like, pretty. Thanks. I hope people are actually dressed up. Lip. Thanks. We're, we're having, like, a little black and white moment here. I know. My purse is not matched, clutch. but it's okay. This is all I had. I, I had like to go to my mom's. Update, though. A lot of effort into your hair. Really? Yes, because it's curled. Mine took 30 minutes, and it's a ponytail. Okay, your hair looks nice my hair was just I was about to be like Cass I'm not going <laughs> I swear to god I was gonna be like if I didn't find this dress I was I was gonna cancel I was like I was like you know what this is why I don't like New York Fashion Week because too much pressure when honestly. I say press event and the carpeting it makes me nervous yeah so this I guess are we having a whole little moment <laughs> Back at home now, it is nine o'clock, great timing. We ended up leaving the after party or whatever that was after maybe like 15 minutes of hanging out just because one, I have, of course I have the event so I wanna go to sleep early. Two, Tiffany's gonna go to the Carol G concert and we're both just kind of not in the mood to overexert ourselves and socialize. But I did, um, see a few people that I knew and we chatted so that was nice the whole experience was really cool and I'm really excited that I got to go as I said it's my first fashion show that I attended to and after attending that type of event and just like being surrounded by a lot of people that do this full-time very much full-time um, it's very inspiring just to be in the room of like so many amazing people so yeah it was cool and it's something that I really want to continue to do just like being able to be in the fashion industry in new york and do content creation stuff but also of course like my business is very important to me and that's what i'm even more passionate about so just like balancing and finding time for both it's nine o'clock i'm back in my comfies this is what's going on this is dinner sushi miso soup and after that i'm gonna deal with all of this Good morning. It is Saturday, September 9th. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I went to sleep at 1 o'clock. I woke up at 5 30. I'm ready now. I'm glammed up again. This is basically the same glam as last night, but just not as caked up. But it's almost 8 o'clock. It's 7 50. Kylie's coming at 8. And I kind of consolidated everything. So have all this and then that. And that's it. I kind of wanted to put everything in bags. So now I just need to pack the flowers. I have this drink dispenser as well. Oh, and I have to pack the drinks. I totally forgot. And then I got all the flowers and put them in the cooler bag from Amazon that I got. Okay, updates. We're out of breath. <laughs> We're doing... As much as we can, as fast as we can, it's a little hectic here because it took a little longer than expected to get everything in, but this is the venue. We're in East Williamsburg slash Bushwick. It's a beautiful venue. Kylie's helping me because she's the greatest friend in the world. 
<laughs> and yeah, we're just hurrying up because people are coming in like 30 minutes. Nothing is set yet and we didn't even steam this, but it's fine. Um, we're just gonna probably just steam the edges to make it look nice. But yeah, the venue is beautiful. The caterer just got here and everything is looking really beautiful. So I'm so excited and we're just going to work our butts off. This is the final look. Everything came out beautifully. People are here. This venue looks really nice. We put up all the lights so the natural light's coming in. The catering is almost done. It looks beautiful. This is the overview of everything. People are starting to come, networking. It's just a really high energy and I'm really happy about it. But this is the overview of the space. So now I'm just gonna enjoy and then we're on gift bag duty back here. Mm -hmm. Okay, all the gift bags are done. This is what's looking like. We're waiting on a few more people, but we're basically gonna start. Yeah, such a beautiful venue, I'm obsessed. <laughs> You know, we have chicken and waffle skewers, we have the French toast. Did you pick one? Yeah, she had like a whole thing of different, and I could pick and choose, yeah. And we have, I think it's called, it's vanilla cream croissants, that's what it is. Yeah. And then those are blueberry, I think it's blueberry parfaits like at the end over there. And then we have loaded bacon. Yeah. I'm excited. And the bacon at the end, it has tater tots and cheese with the bacon. So, and then she's making Ed's Benedict right now. Nice. Yeah. I'm excited. I know. I was like, oh, you said it was blue She's like, me too. And I was like, oh. So, yeah, I feel like since high school, Tara and I have like talked about starting a brand together, starting a business together, but like didn't really know that started us to see like what people like, what prints people like. Um, and we got, like, after working for like two hours, we have a lot of feedback from how to take around it, like, tell the story. I feel like it's really important because our first video that we ever posted on TikTok was about our story, like, why we're doing what we do and, like, what we um, We help creative entrepreneurs, personal brands, businesses uniquely tell their story and reach their top target audience by using high end visuals and brand strategy. We were just turning out really well. I eventually went on to learn about the craft and actually like YouTube University as I call it. It's like my best friend. Um, it's a mentorship program, which is actually where I met uh, Dania at, which is really cool. She's a photographer as well. <laughs> Ultimately, that's when I started taking my business seriously. Um, then COVID hit. So, custom embroidery business. Um, I'll kind of give you guys like the long version of how I got started because I think that really demonstrates what I think is important to talk about is like how I've grown and changed things. So I started Abode when um, it was a, had a different name and I started the what it turned into in 2020. I was focusing on interiors and I was just like, what am I going to do now? It's 2021 and I love everything that happened today. So. I just got back home. It has been the craziest past couple of hours. I can't even explain how stressful that was. So we're cleaning up. Everything went so well. I extended it for an hour because the event itself was amazing. Nothing went wrong in that sense. And it was so smooth. Everyone was so happy. Everyone enjoyed the event. And it was awesome. And I really felt so passionate about that event and I'm glad that it came together exactly the way I wanted to but as we were cleaning up I could not find the key fob for uh, for the venue so that was that I lost it or it got thrown away there was just so many moving parts throughout the whole entire event so I called the venue manager and she says that it's a $200 fine and I had already extended the entire um, event one more hour so then that was another like hundred dollars so I called her she said it's a two hundred dollar fine and so now I'm just messaging back and forth I told her like I'll check with the other attendees and see if anyone saw it stressful part that I'm dealing with right now 
Um, other things are we have so much food I can't even explain, guys. This is just for two people. And this was doubled, but I forced Kylie and Charlie to take some because I could not. They took the loaded bacon and they took half of pretty much everything that we have. And there were waffle and chicken bites, but I just took them off because the waffles were already like stale and hard. So took that off, but chicken's great. And then we have these left. And this is the big mess that I have to now clean up and figure out where I'm going to put in my apartment. And then I also have to wash all of the tablecloths and all the chair covers. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day and tomorrow. Overall, it was such a fulfilling past couple of days. I'm glad I got to bring you guys with me to prep for this event, for the fashion show last night, and then today with the event. So I'm just glad that I'm sharing this journey with you. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to wrap up this vlog because I have a lot to do now. But please stay tuned for future videos. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.